you guys, so it's Shatima. I know it's been a very long time since I've done a video. Today, my videos are not like the happy chipper ones. Today, I want to speak to the people that are feeling down, that are feeling depressed, that are feeling stressed, and some are maybe even suicidal. So if that is you, please stay tuned. And um, I'm going to talk to you. I got stuff to say. You're not the only one. Trust me. So good morning, everyone. Today is Sunday. I'm not feeling so well, but I wanted to come and I think it's now finally time to do a video on depression and stress and suicidal or being suicidal. Don't ever think that you are alone. Don't ever think that there's no one that's not going through what you're going through or what you have been through or just don't know how you're feeling. Have you ever had a time in your life where you thought that, you know, everybody was busy? And I'm talking about your family, your friends. Um, you didn't want to go to them because, you know, they had things going on. You're like, I don't want to put any more stress and depression on anybody else because I know you have your own things going on. Or you think that no one can help you no matter what you tell them you're going through. It's just like, there's nobody here that can help me get through this. Like, you have no idea. Or maybe you're going through... Um, a situation where you're addicted to drugs, where you're addicted to alcohol, where you're addicted to sex, where you're addicted to gambling, where you're addicted to um, men, women, anything, just anything. If you're addicted, there's a reason you got to that addiction because you're trying to cover up something. And that might be because you don't have anyone to talk to or you feel like there's nowhere for you to go or there's no help out there for you. Well, I promise you, I promise you, there is help out there for you. It may not be here in the physical. Maybe you need to stop what you're doing, everything right now, because you didn't try every single thing and pray to God. Right now, this, this light that I have on so you can see me, the beam of it all. Like, I'm even starting to feel better that I'm talking about God because he is the only one. Physical, you may not have people here. Like, I really wish you guys can see the way this light is beaming right now. Because, oh my God, like, I'm getting hot right now. I'm just, just thinking about it. You guys, you think because, you know, you see me on TV because I'm always smiling because I have really good posts that I don't get stressed and depressed. That is a lie. Just this week, today is Sunday. On Tuesday, I believe, I shut down my Facebook. And sometimes, and not just Facebook, social media. Social media, people, outside influence, things that's going on in our head, you need to shut things down sometimes. Come in your prayer closet, come in your room, go in a bathroom, cry, scream, yell, hit the wall. But when you finish all that, you need to talk to God. There's no way around it. There is nobody else because you've hit rock bottom or maybe you haven't got to rock bottom yet and you're heading down that road. But he wants and needs you to come to him because when he fixes this problem, because he gonna fix it. You need to go and tell every single body you know just exactly how you got through this depression, this stress, and whatever addiction, whatever you may be going through. Because the devil is busy. And not just in this season, because I think I, I like I get sick and, and tired and stressed and depressed around the holidays too. And that is really a huge thing. And there's a lot of different names to this, you guys. So it doesn't have to be like, hey, I'm Shatima and um I'm, I'm depressed or I get addicted to depressed. Some people have a lot of different symptoms and they don't come out and say, check on your friends, check on your family. You know what? I could be dead right now. And so many people wouldn't know it if I didn't check on them. It hurts. It is as life. It is what it is. But you call yourself a friend or a family member and then when that person is dead and gone you would oh I wish I wish well why the hell you didn't do it if you're listening to this and you're not depressed or stressed but you're somebody with a good heart and and you you go out and you help people but you're not there and you don't stop and just reach out to the people when you think everybody's doing okay stop even when I went through my spell this week and I had to shut down, cry, pray to God and thank, thankful for God with the walk that I'm in right now. It only took me 24 hours to regroup and come back around. Everybody's not like that. It's going to come. It may not come right now, but it's going to come. But you need to reach out to people when you're going through stuff. Go through your stuff, but also, like, when I was going through my stuff Tuesday, I had people emailing me. I had people texting me, and I still help them because it was helping me work through my situation I had going on. I didn't fully get my um, the 1,000%, but I gave them 995. 
because I cannot not be obedient. And I'm going to leave you with this. We all are born and we all are going to die. In between that time and life, what are you doing? Like for real, what are you doing during life? Are you just merely existing? Are you just like doing drugs all the time? Are you just talking about people all the time? Are you just always negative? Are you running the streets not trying to have a lot of a job? Are you cheating on your spouse? Are you cheating um, yourself and other people out of money? Are you just like struggling? Like what the hell are you doing between your birthday and the date you die? God gave us all missions and some of y'all whack as hell and you're not completing your missions and you're not listening. Stop it now. People are dying at age nine, at age four, at age 85, at age 47. Rest in peace, Kim Porter and everybody else. Wake up. You can't tell the seasons apart. Wake up up find out what you need to do if you don't know your gift if you don't know what your mission is it's only one person that do know and that's God I don't care who's around you no one else knows so find out because it is said that my father has many a mansions up there in heaven with your name on it I want to get my blessings and I want to get my room I don't know what you want to do but Shatima still has some things she needs to work on because I'm far from perfect I have so many flaws so many. So I'm about to get off here now and go pray on that and work on that. But what I need y'all to know is I love you. I'm here for you. I may have my stuff I go through, but I share this stuff because it is my mission. It is my job. It's my duty because everything I have is from God. Nothing is what I've done myself. Every single thing. So if he's given it to me, somebody that he could have threw away a long ass time ago, long, long time ago, then he can do it for you. I promise he can do it for you. So find out what you need to do for him so you can do it and help everybody else. Because you see, at the beginning of this video, I was like really down and like um, like going through some stuff. But I'm so upbeat now. I'm so amped. I'm so excited because God is like really, 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 really amazing, dope, awesomeness, as my girl Erica would say. He's just magnificent. God is magnificent. And thank you so much for your only son, Jesus Christ, on, on dying on the cross for our sins. He ain't had no sins. If you don't do nothing else, if you can't think of anything else, think of Jesus Christ dying on that cross for you and I. God gave his only son. Now that's love. And you can't show him just a little bit of something? Get out of here. I love you guys. If you're depressed, if you're stressed, please reach out to somebody. You don't even have to know me. If I can help you in any way, please let me know. Because I'm on here to complete my commissions, honey. I love you. We got this. Bye, you guys. You got this. 2019 is almost here, and it's going to get better.